All right, chip of the day. Uh, we have a um, TVS diode, transient voltage suppressor. Um, and the one that we have is a one and five, six, five, one. And uh, it's, this data sheet has a whole bunch of them in here, but what is a transient suppressor? Well, if there's a voltage spike, this thing kills it. So um, it's a lot like a Zener diode, but it can handle uh, very high pulse power. So this can uh, capture 1500 watts, um, but very, very, very narrow. So not a lot of, uh, not a lot of uh, energy. It has uh, some watts, but not much energy. Very, very tiny little uh, spike. And uh, these come in voltages between 5 volts and 171 volts. And that's, what, that's why there's so many of them. You get to choose. All right. And uh, let's see. Um, it's either a 51 or a 51A. Let's look under the microscope here. And uh, you can see it's kind of, a, kind of an odd package. And it does uh, say 5651A, so we have the A version. So let's take a look at the data sheet. And on the data sheet, the A version here is uh, a breakdown around 55 volts. And you can operate it up to about 40, 48 volts and nothing will happen. So it's, it's like just pretends not to be there below 47 volts, and then if it gets up around 55, it bang, it, it, it suppresses that. And so it's gonna have a sharp knee, called a knee, if you look at the curve. We'll see it on the curve tracer here. Um, clamping voltage, back, yeah. So it looks like a, it basically kinda looks like a Zener diode. Um, and anything else in the data sheet we're really interested in? Um, you can take a look at how much power this thing can dissipate, because if you do pulse times, you know, from nanoseconds into milliseconds, then the amount of power it can absorb isn't much, okay? And uh, so it goes from being up here in the uh, uh, 10 kilowatt region down to one kilowatt region, uh, depending on the width of the pulse, but it can capture quite a bit. As long as it's short, it doesn't happen very often, uh, you're good to go. Um, so, here it is again, um, and it, you think this maybe was the positive, but it's, uh, oh, it is, I'm sorry. Uh, this is the positive. This is the anode, and this is the, uh, this is the cathode, okay? And so this is the minus, and this is the plus. So uh, it looks like a diode in this direction from, from, from the crimp over to here. The way that we'd use it, though, is backwards. You would have the crimp placed on ground, and then any voltage spikes will be sucked down to ground, and this thing won't conduct till over about 55 volts. Let's see if that's true. All right, let's put it in the machine. Uh, let's see if it's a diode. Uh, we'll put it in the uh, positive way. It should, should sort of look like a diode, 100 millivolts. Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. So um, I'm at 100 millivolts per division, 200 microamps per division in the vertical. And so it starts to turn on here at about half a volt. And here's 0.6 volts. It's 0.6 volts at uh, 1 milliamp, okay? Um, so yeah, it looks like a diode in that direction. Let's turn it around and see what happens. It oh, just goes straight across. So now we're gonna to have to have a lot of voltage. So let's see here, let's do voltage per division. We want about 100 volts in, the, in this direction. So 100 would be uh, 10 volts per division will get us 100 volts all the way across. And let's turn it on. 10 volts, 20 volts, 30 volts, 40 volts, 50 volts, six, oh, right there, 55 volts. Look at that, about 56 volts. It's turning on about 56 volts. We have a very, very, very sharp, sharp response there. All right. So yeah, it is, like I said, kind of like a Zener diode, right at 55 volts, it just turns on really hard. And uh, if you look down there, this is 200 microamps, remember? So yeah, even at 50 microamps per division, it, it turns on super, super fast. Uh, so. 
It does have some capacitance. That's what this loop is down here. It has some capacitance in it. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. All right, well, there you go. We have a chip of the day, a diode of the day. It is a 1N5651A uh, transient voltage suppressor.